Ooh, that's a, a, a challenging one. I think, you know, when, probably if you'd have asked me six, six uh, 12 months ago, um, I would have said it would be a government that recognised the, the value of trees and wanted to really upscale them in the, in the landscape across all of what they do. So we're kind of there now. So my dream scenario in terms of what will the UK look like in 10, 20, 30 years time is... I think it will be uh, a UK which is, uh, has a really strong relationship with its woods and trees. It has a really uh, strong relationship because they are close to people and they are delivering for wildlife. So it's good quality, it's well managed, it's really appreciated. And I think so as a dream scenario, if we get to that and the Woodland Trust can play a role and hopefully I can play a small role personally, then I think that would be a fantastic dream to, to turn into a reality. I, I guess it would be something along the lines of having trees and woods at the top of everybody's agenda so that everybody was thinking about them, be they a child at school to somebody who's retired or to a farmer and for that person to be able to easily be able to do something to um, that will involve trees it might be planting it might be knowing you know what species of tree they've got down their local street to being able to access an orchard where they can pick some fruit anything you know so it's it's a much greater awareness about trees and that there are the tools there for people to engage with them um, with that interest. My, my dream scenario is, is that all parties involved in, in trees and tree conflict and, and positive tree partnerships actually recognise where the other people are coming from so empathy about the loss of trees from decision makers and, and specialists highways engineers for example but also greater understanding of the technical the technical challenges that that those professionals also face among communities so that both parties have that that shared understanding of of where everyone's coming from My dream is to create a community based farming structure that does work for for many different people. So it's a hub of activity for we have now a gym on the farm. We have a cafe. We have an education center. We have a cider group. We have a shoot and we have a farm that is hopefully making money through animals and through through crops. So my dream is for that to continue and to have this group of people who will continue to work together to work towards uh, an environmental sustainable biodiverse uh, community that's producing fantastic food working towards carbon neutral uh, and working towards the health and well-being of a community and the wider wider community